So today I'll tell you some commands, some tools as well. Before that, we're going to start with your scanning part. Okay. Scanning plays an important role. We're going to be studying in detail, right? Your vulnerability, we're going to study in detail. And we want to understand what is the meaning of this CVSS and CVs. Basically, they will. Anybody can ask you what is this vulnerability management part or the assessment part. Okay, so this thing we're gonna study and uh, we'll be setting up uh, nieces in our environment. We'll be having an overlook of uh, open was with us. Okay, and Nikto. These three things we will see in the vulnerability today along with the Nmap scans. Okay, no enumeration part we are doing right now. We are first of all learning how we'll scan the network. Okay, so we'll start off with first with Nmap because these things are just fancy stuff. So let's start off with some concepts of Nmap, right? And basically scanning that is like more of a topic today. Okay, so guys, if we start off with scanning, in scanning, what is the main objective of any attacker? Why we are doing scanning? That was the second phase, right? The first phase was information gathering. So in scanning, what we should include? First, very first thing I would say, to check whether the system is live or not. How we can check this thing, guys? Ping is one thing, right? So from ping, can we detect the operating system? So basically, guys, see, ping is nothing. Ping is known as like packet internet grouper. Okay. So you're right that it will just tell you that how many hops you have gone through and what all things it will tell you. TTL is one thing, time to live. Time to live is like, let's suppose from here to Canada, I need to reach and there are multiple hops in between. It will do the hop count. It will take one hop, second hop, third hop, maybe 100 hop to reach Canada from here. So that is a TTL value comes up. If it is 64 or 63, that means we can guess out that it's a Linux. Depending upon the different flavor, it gives you this value. Okay, so TTL is nothing your time to live. This thing is there. If it is 127 or 128, that's going to be a Windows machine. And in general, 50 to 55, that is a firewall we can guess. Depending upon the different vendor, the values increase or decrease. But these are some journal values that we can talk of. Okay, so we have to verify this as well. Once. Okay, second thing you are saying to me that Karan, in scanning, we should look for open ports and services. You are right. There is 100% true case over here, I would say. So open ports and services or any other thing which we can talk of, it is there. What else apart from this, guys? I'm considering here the Nmap part, OS detection, firewall, everything i'm considering over here okay and uh, third point which i can say over here in scanning uh -huh. we can load your so vulnerability analysis guys that is the one thing which i want to add up over here right so because in the end you have to tell that this is vulnerable or not so scanning actually include this thing as well we can use in multiple ways apart from the nmap there are other tools as well that we need to see up Okay, so we'll start with the ping and map and other tool as well, along with your Kali Linux and your Windows environment as well. There is no problem. Okay, so the very first thing is, let's suppose you are right now in a network, right? And I want to know all the IP and Mac right now in my network. How can I do? Right now I'm connected to a wireless, right? I want to know all the computer or devices that they are into my network i will showcase you right i am connected to a wi-fi this is my wi-fi okay you can see right now like i am connected to a wireless only here it is right or let's see the status so this is the internet connectivity name is crusader something i have 70 mbps up and down running up okay I want to know all the systems that are connected to my network right now. One simple way is I can go to the router page and I can check. But again, I am just a part of a network as an attacker. What I can do if you are connected, if you are connected. Okay. So you can go to advanced IP scanner. There's a tool advanced IP scanner. You can just come up over here 
specify the entire subnet 192.168.0.0.254 means you are scanning the entire network okay you just click on scan and it will just tell you that which all ips things are there connected to you automatically it will tell you it's one of the fastest one of the fastest in windows all right have a look around this and i am getting some ip addresses over here these are all hosts which are connected to me to my router right now so you can see my router ip 192.168.0.1 i got one this is my ip camera right 192.168.0.20 then 0.32 with the mac address i got so right now four devices are connected to the wi-fi router at least i get this much information over here okay this is one way that we can play up in windows right if you have the administrative privilege guys you can do a lot of destruction over here as well for example you can right click and you can uh, even shut down the host as well that is also possible okay here it is wake up on lan shut down the host abort the shutdown you can if you have the administrative privilege then only otherwise not okay you can take the remote access telnet file transfer shutdown chat voice chat anything but provided you have the administrative access with you right so this is just we are looking we are looking for the ips right now in the network once you are accessing any network then only all right that was the first thing right ping when you talk about guys ping okay so ping is a very nice utility you can see around over here so what i'm doing right now guys i am initiating by vmware right now and i will start up a machine right i'll start up a basic machine over here i'll give you full time to download as well there is no problem in that okay so this machine is made exploitable to machine which we will use as a target in every system that means you all people are there we will use that thing no worries in that okay so i'm starting this machine and i'm taking the ip address over here just i'm just doing this thing only nothing else okay so let it start it is available for free i'll tell you where is the link how to set up as well everything i will tell you okay so today we're going to be playing around this thing only we have to scan in a manner so that our next step exploitation becomes easy so n number of ways you need to perform the scan okay so you can see right now guys the username and password are written here only right msf admin msf admin i know the font is a little bit tiny over here i cannot expand it because it's a virtual machine so msf admin and msf admin okay i have config and you will see 192.168.0.23 okay this is my ip and what i'm doing is i'm pinging that ip what is the ttl coming guys it's a linux box at least we can say if you have a black box thing which we were talking about yesterday at least at least this much information you have it in the beginning this is the first step every time you have to run like this only keep that thing in mind if you want to make your foundation strong it has to be there with you i do the vice versa okay we'll do the vice versa right now what i will do i will ping my own windows 10 machine okay so you can see my windows ip is 192.168.0.21 okay let's go to that box and let's ping 0.21 ping 192.168.0.21 okay you see right now it is a continuous ping in linux it will all go continuous okay but you can see i will just drop it down and i would like to showcase you if you can see this column right it is coming out to be 128 meaning it's a windows box when i wrote 127 or 128 reason being windows server 2008 2012 will showcase you 127 2016 19 windows 10 machines they will showcase you 128 that is the reason so at least i get an idea that now my target is a windows box segregated my brain.exe is segregated now i have to look for windows exploits at least at least i have this thing in my mind okay so in the beginning only we deviate right so we just keep a segregation okay now this is my thing i'll make a checklist and i will just look for 128 port right now 
or like not 128 port i will just look for windows exploits only this thing okay so ping is giving you this ip we got just this thing we are getting okay nothing else this is fine right this is done so if it is a firewall if it is an appliance or anything inline appliance you are talking about that uh, the corporate network right so in the corporate network you can talk about like uh, current we can have any kind of security appliance right so over there the value depends the value depends on the vendor as well because in the access control list in the firewall you can define the ttl value as well so we can set the ttl value to whatever you want let's suppose you want to specify 74 you can specify in the security appliance so generally when you are doing an internal or external pen test external pen test will give you a false positive things over there because anybody can set anything anybody can set 10 also as a ttl value no problem anyone can set 30 also just to fool you right because that's a security feature but in general internal pen test these things are useful we can have a look around this okay so we're gonna be starting off with one important stuff over here which is your nmap right so i will take you through some concept right and then i'll give you the privilege to set up everything and learn with me right so nmap i'm going in a good depth guys over here i will tell you how to set up nieces it will be there for at least five years with you so everyone will set up very beautifully okay open was i will glide you on an online demo but you will set up because you have the entire week with you or you have the class with you you will set up in your kali linux don't worry things will take time only one time setup will take after that your things become smoother no worries in that okay nmap so let's see over here guys the full form first of all network mapper correct right so we should know the meaning in depth over here and second thing it is made it is discovered by a person whose name is gordon leon okay gordon leon is the person who discovered this second good important point is whatever script nmap uses nmap scripts are written in lua scripting language only lua right these are written in only lua scripting language only lua scripting right nothing else so these two points you can consider it's a bullet point and very less number of people they know about this thing is lua it's a scripting language okay so these things should be there with you if i talk about what does it do right it does a couple of job guys right for example we can use this thing for host discovery it can do host discovery there is no problem in that okay no need to cram the commands understand the command okay second thing it can have multiple scan techniques multiple multiple scan techniques are there okay third thing it can do os detection it can look for open ports and services as well okay it can bypass firewall ids ips it can do right you can spoof the mac address also so spoofing mac address i would say spoofing mac that is also possible with it okay so n number of thing is thus during the course you will see multiple things i will use in a multiple manner and i will create a very good scenario in front of you so first of all we'll practice localhost then directly we'll jump up to the live environment this is my idea with you right so that you are close to the real world that's why i told you in the end i'll give you a challenge okay so you have to be careful whenever you are using these kind of stuff all right